Hey, this is Anthony Hannigan. Welcome back to musicmoose.org. We got into the kind of the origin of the uh, the licks and the fiddle licks and stuff before, and we're going to get into that a little bit more right now. And let me explain a little bit more in detail how these licks can come into play. Um, I used the one from Red Hair Boy at first, and I thought that would be a good one because you can throw that into um, anything that you want. Let's just go over that one real quick. I'll do it slow again. So we're going to take that, if we're going to be running down something like, say, an A chord. To a D, back to an A. And what I could do is right there, take the same lick. Now that's another great thing. Uh, I completely forgot I even planned on telling you this, but the same way with the chords, you could take these licks, like say if you got an ending lick like this one right here. And all that is is a, a little triplet on the A string, and then 2nd fret on the A, 4th fret on the A, 5th fret on the A, and a little bit of a trill there. You can go down, one, that would be ending it on a D. If you wanted to end it on an A, just go down, right here, down to the E string and do the same exact thing, same exact placement of the fingers on the frets, but just different strings. Or we could do it in G, too. Now let's see if the red hair boy lick works with all that, too. So I think it will. So there would be end, end on the uh, D note, starting with the A. We'll try it on doing it in this key right here. I ran out of strings, but I could take that series of notes, though, and kind of play around with that and maybe improvise a little bit. And when I say the term improvise on these licks, it's pretty much is exactly what it means. Take it, maybe stall a little bit on the notes. Do some phrasing. There's really no rules. It's going to be the sound that you like and others around you like when they hear it. But um, it'll definitely work on these series of strings. But you can actually take it and run it all the way down. And I could just run that whole entire lick just up and down the neck. And you could use it down here as well. You don't want to jump in with a capo, but you can kind of imagine yourself just going down and then using some of the open strings. Something, something like that. It gives it a very unique sound, and when you hear it, it's like, wow, that's pretty cool. I've never heard that before. And basically, it's the same fingering positions, just repeating itself up and down the neck. Now, another little good one. Um, just take like an old Joe Clark kind of lick. And all that little, that little ditty right there. You can use that one up and down the fingerboard too. All it is is two, three, two, open. You can do it on the A string. And what I did there was just went back up there a little bit. And I can even take it one step further and go up here too. And all I'm doing is running the same lick from the E string all the way back up to the uh, G string. And how you can do that and use that little lick, little fiddle tune lick on a song is like just say there's something in A. So all I'm doing is coming down, open, and go right up to the D, back to the A, to the E. Same thing, and if we had more strings down here, we can just keep running it all the way down. But you could take that as well and kind of get into the habit of using all the fingers here. <coughs> just 
Stretch out that pinky as far as you can. And what I like to do too is break up the lick, take a little bit of it, and then add a little bit more. Just keep layering it and layering it with as many or as less notes as you'd like to. So a nice little one here in A. And all that is, is open, two, three, then up on the five. And whether it be a fiddle tune lick, a classical lick, or a uh, jazz lick, find, find them within the note. If you look here, the way that the A is broken out, we could pretty much, we have the A string to always end on, open, and just know that if you go up, you can transpose these licks into different keys. So with that, I wish you happy success and uh, really start listening to what you're doing. You want to, there's not a bad note selection, I don't think, but there is a bad place to put those notes if you want to break it down that far. Well, join us again next time here at musicmoose.org. So happy you tuned in and keep playing everybody.